Hello guys, welcome back to the Sable Dangler. We're down here on Somerset Beach. Uh, fourth match of the season with an alien club. On a wet and windy day. But we're going to give it a go. Hopefully there's something out there for us today. I didn't usually do well down here, so hopefully we'll get something. And hopefully I can bring you in some footage today, guys. Lee, Scott going all over that way and then there's Yabby and Tom and all the rest over that way so we're going to give it a go hopefully we can pull some it in I will bring you back if we do guys quick update guys uh, nothing so far I'm not going to buy the bases coming in as they're going out uh, it's quite poor at the minute um, I've heard of um, big fish being caught over over that side by Copper Door right over the end apparently, apparently it might be a big bass or something around 45 centimeters plus so but that's all I've heard that's been caught so far, so hopefully it starts picking up. But the weather has cleared up lovely now, so the weather's cleared up nice and lovely. So it's actually quite nice now. But hopefully the fish start biting soon, because at the minute there's nothing, absolutely nothing. But um, I will bring you back in a bit, guys, if we get anything. Yeah, guys, that's just probably my flounder, 33 centimeters. It's a cracking fish, guys. So, just gonna get him on up. Oh, um, no. But, what are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna keep him? Yeah, probably take him home. So, that's a nice fish, that. Chelsea's on the board. So, hopefully, uh, more to come. So, yeah, I'll bring you back if we see any more, guys. So, guys, um, I've had just had a dogfish, so they all count as 50 centimeters. So that's my first fish. I, sorry I didn't record it, guys. Um, I was just in a bit of a rush to get the bait back out, but yeah. I had a dogfish. Scott's had two dogfish to my right over there. Uh, Chelsea's had a obviously that flounder earlier, and she had another dogfish. And I think there's been a few flatties caught up that way. So yeah, it's it's been. I'm quite poor to be honest tonight but we keep trying we've got an hour left so we're going to keep going and if i manage to get anything else i'll um get it on camera for you guys to show you next week now is the rni open it'll be a club match anyway so when you book into the open next week obviously you pay your entry fees for the open and then come and see me and I'll give you a card and book you in like normal then for our match, you know? Yeah. So you'll be fishing with two cards next week, one for the open, one for us. Yeah. All right, guys? Okay. Um, I'll be in the spring, what is spring well they're booking in, isn't it? No, the, um, it's, the ca it's the cafe on the oh, way. Oh, the cafe, yeah. yeah. The, What's the time? Uh, I thought it was It's half ten or ten forty. I don't know half the time. booking in half from, ten. I think it is. Yeah. I don't know the times for the matches or nothing. I'll put it on the page in the weekend. But yeah, you'll be able to get that on Facebook anyway, because I don't know the times. And there's no charge for our entrance fee, Tom, is no, there? No, no, you just no, pay, you the pay the entrance fee. fee to the open. The yeah. open. Um, like I say, you'll have a card anyway from me. I'll be in there having breakfast anyway. So uh, <laughs> come and see me in there when you book in for the open. Um, huh? Pong pool, is it? It's, it's up to you guys if you want to do it, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good idea. Yeah, so nice you can meet up with them and then get a card. Um, like I say, you'll be able to put the details on Facebook when he gets them. I don't know the times of the matches and all the rest of it. Um, I'll put it on it tomorrow, I got it in my email. Yeah, so. That's it. Yeah, it is. Well, I say it will be later after nine o'clock and we have breakfast. I think the open is heaviest bag of flounders, any, heaviest any fish then, second, and then second heaviest bag of flounders then. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Are you dealing with that, Lee? I'm doing the sign up for the pairs. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Alright guys, well, excellent. Thank you all for coming. See you mate. Right, Lee, thank you. Know. Take a third place then with a bag of 185 centimeters. Fat boy, Yuri.
take the second then with a bag of 189 centimeters. Steve Tate. Take it first with a bag of 194 is myself and longest fish 44 centimeter bass. Right, there we are, guys. End of the match. Um, I finished with a dog fish and a flounder, which took me up to 72 centimeters. Really like poor going fishing. Um, a lot of people have blanked. Um, Yabby came third, 185, and then Steve Tate came second, 189, and then Tom won with 194 with his three doggies and a 44 centimeter bass. So, yeah, um, it was a good, well, really good session, but you know. We take them, we take them, and um, sorry about that, the light went off, <laughs> but we'll go again, Amroth Open, um, Amroth Open next Sunday, so hopefully um, if it's a nicer day I can get more footage, I can get the tripod out, I can do thing, it was just quite difficult tonight because it started, it was horrible weather to be honest to start with, and there wasn't much action to be honest, it was just standard um so i didn't get many like videos of my fish but it was just I just it was just in and out quickly like that so but anyway we go again next time um hopefully we um can pull something a bit better next time and i hope you well i don't know if this video is gonna be too short or not so if it is i'll mix it with another video like i usually do if not then i'll be out soon so I'll either see you in the next video or in this one, guys. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in a bit, guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sea World Angler. I'm down here in Saundersford tonight. Um, we're going for pretty much anything tonight. Got a squid on a pulley panel out currently. So down here with uh, Scott. Scott Harris, we have some fishing. And Lee and Chelsea. So we're going to see what we can get. Um, pull up anything if we can get them, and I'll bring you back if we do. Yeah. There you are, guys. Scott, Scott's just pulling in. First fish, doggy or mackerel. Nice little chunky doggy there. So it's nice to see them. They're starting now, so hopefully we'll bring, bring in some more. Maybe a different species. So there you are, guys. I'll bring you back in a bit. So, guys, bait side with me tonight. Got some ragworm. Ragworm there. Some about half a pound there and we got the whole squid about a pound of whole squid there and then we got some if we can get this open got some bluey nice bluey there so i'm probably gonna give that a go in a bit see if anything wants to have a bite of that so there's a bait I got tonight and I'm gonna set up this. I've got a one up one down here which I'm gonna send out next. With I think that's a 1-0 on the bottom end, and I think this might be a four or a six on the top. If I can see it. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. So yeah, so we've got a one-up one down going out next. And hoping to maybe pull up maybe a flounder or a bass with that. So we'll send it out and see what we can get. If we do get anything, guys, I will bring you back in a bit. So, guys, we're fishing on the back. I'm fishing on the back wall tonight, as you can see. Thought I'd give it a go. See if we can um, pull up anything different. Maybe try for um, something a bit bigger over this back wall very dark out there but very clear night I uh, can't really see that but it's very clear night not much wind at all quite cold though that's the only issue but you know you have to deal with it but yeah it's a lovely night and hopefully we can pull up a nice fish to show you guys and hopefully we can see that rod tip rattle soon so come on the fish. I'll bring you back in a bit guys. There we are guys. My first fish. 
a nice big fat doggy. Took a whole, basically a whole squid. He's a nice fat one though. The size of him. A oh, nice big dog, guys. This one's been eaten well, so we'll get him back. Uh, but happy enough to have the first fish of the night. So we'll get it back out there and see what else we can get. Yeah, yeah guys, these first fish. Little baba. Little tiny little one. Baby. Little baby. And what did that take? Oh, that was just pure mackerel. Just pure mackerel there, guys. So, yep. So he's going to get him back. And we'll get out for a, he'll get out for another one. So the doggies are in, guys. Hopefully something different soon. There we are, guys. Chelsea's first fish. Nice little schoolie bass there. Took ragworm, so... There we are, different species, finally. Nice little bass, so... We're gonna get him back and get another one out there. There we are, guys. I'll bring you back. So, guys, I've moved over to the other side. Let's just relax a little bit of side of the wall. Just probably gonna focus on... Um, maybe see if I can catch some flatties or something. I just have another doggy, though, on it. On a one up, one down, little small doggy. I didn't record it because he's uh, it's trouble getting the hook out, so I just chucked him back straight away. But yeah, had another little doggy, so that's two fish for me tonight. Um, so there's been a couple, well, about four doggies, I think, so far, and Chelsea's had bass, so not bad. Hopefully, we can get some, we can get some more. Maybe a nice flower for you guys to show, for me to show you guys. But I will let you know in a bit. Hey, there are guys, my third doggy of the night. Ragwim again. Uh, getting another yeah, out there, out there, seems like the only thing out there at the minute, so <laughs> we'll try again for another, see if we can try again for flounder, but at least it's a fish, we'll get it back out there now guys, I'll bring you back. Hey yeah, guys, Chelsea second fish, nice little flounder, so he's um, swallowed the hook, so we're going to get him unhooked, get him back, but nice to see another species, and we'll get out there for another. Hey yeah, guys, 10th dog of the night, Lee's just pulled it in. Um, lug worm. Lug and squid. Lug and squid, yeah. So uh, that's a tenth one of the night. And it's a female. Yeah, and it's a female, so get it up, chuck it back, and hopefully get yeah, something else. Got over there, did lose a huss earlier on as well, nice big huss. So there is something bigger out there. But we'll try and, we'll try and get it. Okay, I'll bring you back. Now, yeah, guys, Scott just put on a nice little huss. As you can see, nice, you can see from the nasal flaps, have a little hus. Lost that big one earlier, but I made up for it with this one. A little bit smaller, but target yeah, achieved. I would say that's <laughs> four times. Uh, but the it's, one uh, I lost earlier on was about £10 plus. Well, it's still, hus is a hus at the end of the day, so... It's target achieved, yeah. so what we come out for tonight. Exactly. Uh, there we are, guys. Lovely hus. Getting we're getting released. back now. Yeah, we're getting back now. Right, there we are, guys. I'm going to end, end the session off there. Good session tonight, loads of dogfish. Uh, Scott had a huss and Chelsea early on had a flounder and a schoolie bass, so it's not been a bad night. I think we ended on probably about 18, 19 dogfish. So we had a lot of them about tonight, but we're gonna end it there, good session. And I will be back with another video very soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out Scott Harris Westworld Fishing. And I'll catch you a bit in the guys. Peace.